That's hard. Hey YouTube, Aiden Slash. Just Aiden here today. Um, talking today about my practice routine. Just a reminder, if you want a lesson with me at some point, there's a thing in the description. You can sign up maybe for lessons. Just check it out or don't. Um, so today I have a nice long day off. Um, I've been working a lot lately um, and today is one of my weekend days. I, you know, they just happen randomly. Um, and I haven't had a day where I could just kind of play all my instruments. So I have other things planned for today as well. I'm gonna like clean up the house and work out, ride my bike, clean dishes. Um, you know, there's other things I'm gonna do, but the majority of today, the kind of purpose of the day is to practice. And since I haven't played all of my instruments in a bit, I've been kind of focusing on one and playing that a bunch, and then another one and playing that a bunch. I'm gonna play all of them today. Um, let's talk about how I do that, since I double often enough that I need to practice most of my instruments. How I start out is just the usual stuff. I do some do some breathing stuff, I get warm, maybe I walk around the block or something. Um, it's good to not just play straight out of getting out of bed, because your body is not circulating blood. It's not doing anything at that point. Um, and then I choose an instrument. I just I choose at random. Sometimes it's an instrument I just finished playing a lot. Um, usually it's something that I haven't played for a bit. Um, and I think I haven't warmed up on this specifically for like a few days. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use large tenor, and I'll do my entire warm up, the entire sequence, um, and some more fundamentals on just this instrument. I don't go through the instruments warming up on each one, like playing one thing on this and the next thing on this and the next thing on this. Uh, in real life, I don't really get to do that. I get to I get to wake up, I play one instrument, maybe I play other ones in the same day, but I'm always gonna warm up on one instrument. So that's what I do. And that really kind of just dials me in, kind of makes me go, okay, this is how we play trombone. Uh, makes me feel more comfortable. Um, I'm not always gonna feel comfortable, but in the practice session, I may as well, right? So I'll finish my whole warm up and depending on the day and I don't do the same thing every day this today is going to be different as well um, I can either start my routine on this so I'll start playing Arbins or Brad Edwards lip slurs or etudes and then I'll move on to another instrument I think today I'm going to finish my warm up on this and I'm going to, I'm going to play this one I'm going to go to bass trombone um, I played just a couple things with drones on each instrument for a second, and this one felt the worst, so I think I'm going to go to this next. Um, what I'll do is I won't do my entire warm-up, but I'm going to do a couple things to just make me feel comfortable, get the instrument physically warm since it's sitting in the AC right now, um, and I, I can't like play to a drone or a tuner um, if the horn is just like super cold. Yeah, the tuning slot is way too far in um, for normal playing right now. Um, so I'll just play a few things, kind of get used to it, be like, okay, this is how the horn feels today, and then I'll do my routine on this. So I think I'm going to play some uh, harmonic dexterity, uh, etudes, the Bob McChesney stuff. I might get out the Charlie Vernon book. I just kind of choose at random. Um, I've been doing, I have like one thing that it's not at random. I always do uh, McChesney etude every day. I read a new one and then I play a couple of the old ones to make sure that they're like at least getting better and they're not getting worse. Um, and then the rest of it can be random. I'll choose a couple new things that I haven't played in a while, just so I'm not doing the exact same thing every day. Probably not gonna do Arbins today. That's a little too much involvement. So after this, I think I'll probably play Contra. Um, I've been playing this a little more often, just trying to get used to it. I feel like I'm making a pretty good sound on it lately. I'm not gonna play it right now because it's super heavy. I don't even wanna hold it up. There we go. Um, I've been playing this more. I actually warmed up on it uh, like two or three days ago. 
and it felt really good. I was making some good sounds. It felt a lot easier. Still a long ways to go to make it really feel comfortable. Um, and I'll probably do the Charlie Vernon um, Contra exercises he has in his uh, The Singing Trombone book, um, which is a great book anyway, but the um, Contra bass trombone section, it's just like three pages, has a bunch of really good stuff that seems really simple and obvious. Um, but playing all of it down on Contra, you're like, wow, okay, this is what I need to be able to do. Um, playing all these different registers, play really low, play medium and high range on Contra as well, and articulate all of those ranges. So I'll probably run through that. I might try and play like a Bordoni or something on this, um, just to read music. Um, it's one thing to play a bunch of exercises that I kind of just have in my head, like in the Charlie Vernon book, I'm not really reading the notes so much. I'm just kind of doing the pattern. Um, but I need to read music on this since it's an F and it takes a little more brain power to read um, than my other stuff. After that, hopefully I still have some face left. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I'll probably play this. Um, and maybe some big tenor as well. Like I'll play these off of each other. Um, what my routine for these has been playing a Tyrell etude every day um, that I play these. And I'll play it on this and then I'll play it on the big tenor, take a break, and then I'll play it again to try and make it better. Um, always with a metronome, always with a tuner, etc. And one really important thing that I've kind of left out this whole time is that there are lots of breaks in this. So I'm probably going to practice until what time is it right now it's um 11:56 a.m it's about noon i'll probably practice pretty consistently until about 5 p.m um i'm not gonna play for five straight hours after this video finishes and i start uploading it i'm not just gonna get out the horns and just not stop playing for five hours what i'm gonna do is i'll get my bass i'll get the etudes out i'll play through the etude a couple times take a break two, three minutes, get on Facebook, put it back, play through the A2 a couple more times, I'll do some more stuff, maybe the Charlie Vernon book, since I'm going to get that out for Contra anyway, then I take a break, five minutes. There's lots of breaks built into this. Um, between every instrument, maybe I'll take 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, I'll play a video game or something, maybe clean some dishes, um, etc. I'm not just going to play the entire time. It's really important to not just beat up on your face for hours and hours and hours and hours. Sometimes it's what we have to do in real life, but in the practice session it's a lot more productive, a lot healthier to take those breaks. So there's going to be lots of little breaks. Even in my warm-up, um, I'll play a couple of really hard exercises and I'll just stop playing for like five minutes. Let everything just kind of settle. And after that, I'll feel much better than if I just go straight into the rest of my warm-up. There's kind of not an advantage to just beating yourself up so much. So, yes, I will get five hours of practice today, but it's actually condensed. If you took out all the breaks, it's probably like, you know, three hours, 45 minutes or something like that. Um, so, yeah, lots of playing, but lots of breaks. Um, if I feel myself just, like, doing the wrong thing, I'll just stop, put the horn down go read a book, I'll come back and just make sure I'm doing the right habits. It's so much more important to do the right thing rather than just to do anything. So there we go, that's my long day of playing a bunch of doubles. Um, at some point I might just get really bored and just be like, man, I'm not feeling this and I'll stop playing. And then I'll come back after like an hour and just get back into it. It's important to actually want to do what you're doing as well, I think. So there we go. Uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to practice your doubles. Obviously, if you don't have as many as me, it's probably easier. Um, but here we go. It starts now.